Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. I have been doing a bit of prep work in between episodes. I increased our power a bit. So we now have 10 of these uh, energy exchangers. And we also have uh, some deuterium uh, mini fusion power plants. Uh, because we needed more power. So we have 275 megawatts right now. Now, what else did I do? I set up uh, a bit of smelting. So we're smelting iron plate over here. Uh, quite a lot of it. So this is 30, 60, 180 iron plates a minute that we are smelting. And we have some iron veins that are hooked up here. And we have some iron veins over here that are hooked up as well. So that is pretty good. And now, right now we have plenty of iron, but before I hooked up those uh, iron veins, we were not getting enough iron ore uh, f from uh, intergalactic stuff because even though we are mining more than enough iron, I'm pretty sure, around the, 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 the galaxy, uh, we can only request 10,000 at a time. So if we request 10,000 that needs to be transported here from another solar system or another star system, uh, we're, we actually run out in, in the time that it takes uh, them to bring it in. So we run out of iron ore in the time so that it takes to bring back 10,000 new iron ore. So that wasn't really an option. Uh, to just request uh, iron ore uh, remotely. So we've changed that to remote storage. Uh, we are also demanding iron ingots uh, from other places uh, just to fill up, really. So these are being turned into steel and we are producing we, we set up the little bit of steel before and I screwed up the math so I improved my math you might say so here yeah, we're uh, producing 90 steel a second over here we are producing uh, the alloy uh, titanium alloy and we are producing 60 second of those. Over here, we are producing the nanotubes, you already saw that. Uh, we are also producing these guys, the photon combiners, with the uh, optical grading crystal uh, recipe. So we have two recipes here. We have uh, the normal one, which takes uh, prisms, which are made from glass. Uh, and the other one that takes uh, optical grading crystals. Now, I forgot about uh, that one. Well, not really. I, uh, I hadn't forgotten about it. Let's put it this way. In order to make sure that, that we have uh, the optical grading crystals, uh, I have set up here, or the uh, photon combiners, I have set up a bit of uh, glass melting. Uh, this is 180 glass a second, I think. No, it's not. It's 90 glass a second. 90 glass a second we're producing. And that is being turned into prisms over here. Uh, so that we have that as a backup for when we run up uh, optical grading crystals. That's what I'm going to go with anyway. It's not because I forgot about the other recipe at all. So... And here we have these guys, the frame material, which take uh, silicon, titanium, and carbon nanotubes. And this is, I want to say 60 a second. I think it was 60 a second that I set up uh, to make. Now, in order to solve the problem that even though we actually have a lot of uh, iron being mined around the 
solar, uh, well, the galaxy really, uh, and it's not coming in fast enough, I have set up a little something, uh, where is it, up here, uh, at the pole. So in here, we are requesting iron ore and we're requesting stone ore. And we have, of course, space warpers as well. And those space warpers are being sent out to the other towers here. Now, in here, I haven't set anything up yet. But what I want to do, so over here I have, uh, I have stone and iron as well. And over here I don't have anything. But since we... So this is going to be a raw material hub, you might say. So we can request anything that we need. Uh, titanium, uh, whatever we need to, to smelt or to use, we can request in this hub. And the hub will probably expand. So that instead of only getting 10,000 to the planet at a time, we can get uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand iron ore coming to the planet uh, all the time and also I think it'll look pretty cool that there'll be kind of a stream of uh, logistics drones going out from the the pole and going out everywhere where there's uh, resources needed I think that'll look pretty cool so I actually think I want to do iron ore here, uh, remote demand, and there we go, there's another 10,000 iron ore coming in. So that's 30,000 iron ore we can get in at a time here to the planet, and then it can be distributed uh, to where it's needed, because we're probably going to need magnets here as well, for instance, right? So let's start up some of these production lines that we haven't uh, kicked into gear yet, like this one. Uh, so we need to request optical grading crystals. So that we will do up here. Uh, request uh, optical grading crystals, uh, remote demand, and in they come. And I think we'll do it over here as well. Optical grading crystals, remote demand. I guess we don't have any right now. It's all being picked up already. <laughs> That's pretty insane. But we'll be setting up more optical grading crystal mining. So the optical grading crystals will be coming in. And we will say remote storage local demand uh, so here we actually need remote storage local demand and we will request in some uh, where are they some circuit boards as well so they'll come in And here comes some stuff. That's just iron, unfortunately. But let's see, we should soon see a flurry of drones picking up optical grading crystals uh, to come in here. Let's see, is that optical grading crystals coming in? No, that's iron. That's iron or stone. Iron. Come on, guys. Bring some optical grading crystals. Come on. Where are they? Uh, let's head out here. Oh, here comes a bunch. Let's see what that is. That is optical grading crystals. Nice. So they will start sending them over here. 
And we'll have that flurry of activity there, which I really like. So optical grading crystals are coming in. Now we will set up circuit board production on this planet as well. This is going to be a complete factory planet. It's not going to do anything else but make stuff. Let's see, that's more optical grading crystals. Our circuit boards arriving. Not yet. There's 8,000 on the way. Come on, more crystals. I really do like that a lot. That we have all this activity going on. Come on. I want to see it work. Comes. I'm guessing that is circuit boards. That would be my guess. That is iron. Optical grading crystals, so it wasn't circuit boards. Dang it. Give me circuit boards! That has to be circuit boards coming in there, right? It has to be. It has to be. Is it? No. Yes, it is. Circuit boards! Yay! And out they go. Okay, let's spring into life. Come on, you can do it. There we go. We have circuit boards coming down the line. Alrighty. So that's these guys being made, and that should be 30 a second of these guys. And it reached the end. Beautiful. Where is it? 30 a second. Uh, let's see. It's one every three seconds. So we have 45 machines on each side. That's 90 machines, so that should be 30 a second. Let's go check. Is the belt full? When it enters it is completely full so 30 a second good these guys we're already making uh, then we have uh, the nanotubes we're already making uh, down here we don't need to start up so this is what we need to start up now so we need high purity silicon this will be remote storage this will be local demand and local and remote demand, I think. And uh, we needed silicon ingots. So let's do high purity silicon remote demand. And we'll do two of those. Uh, let's do it here. High purity silicon remote demand. So there we go. We definitely need to make more circuit boards, there's no doubt about it. 
Absolutely no doubt about it. So let's do this. So local demand. Local demand. The local demand. And local and remote supply. So we have these coming in. This is remote storage, remote storage. And we have the first two items coming in. So here we have, if we take a look at this, it needs four carbon nanotubes, one uh, titanium alloy and one silicon ingot, high purity silicon. So we have uh, high purity silicon or uh, no carbon nanotubes on the two outside belts here. And then we have titanium ingots and uh, high purity silicon. And we have quite a few machines. Uh, I believe it's 30 in a row, 45 in a row, 40 in a row, 40 in a row uh, I have, because, um, let's take a look here, this takes four every six seconds, so that's uh, two every three seconds, which means it's uh, uh, a two to three ratio right and which means that we can handle more than 30 mis machines because 30 machines would not eat up all of this because this takes six seconds to produce so 40 machines should be the number that is needed and we are producing we have high purity silicon coming in not very fast though but we are producing we have the first ones very good and we have this flurry of activity picking up stuff and that's more high purity silicon being picked up and we can play our research or start our research So and that's the uh, universe matrix that we're researching at the moment quite rapidly. So yeah, uh, all of this is going. And we're using every single port. So these lines aren't full. What I could have done is combine two lines, I think. But I opted not to do that. I decided to do it this way instead. And we now have freight material being made, which is excellent. So then we need these guys, Dyson Sphere components. But for those, we also need solar sails, which is what needs the uh, photon combiners. And we need a lot of solar sails, right? Because each of these takes three solar sails, and we also want to shoot some solar sails. So, yeah, a lot. And these take two of these. So if we want to shoot 10 of these a second, then we need to make 20 of these a second. Which is insane. Which means that we need to make 60 solar sails a second. So we're going to need a lot of graphene which means that we're gonna get a lot of hydrogen and their universe matrix is complete. Wonderful.
So yeah. It's pretty insane. We already have 4,000 of these. So, but we're running out of carbon nanotubes. So I guess we're not producing enough of those. We're producing 30 a second, so we're not producing enough carbon nanotubes. We need to double that, at least. Probably more like triple it, actually. Which we can do. Uh, so, spiniform stalagmite crystals. We probably want to... Uh, we'll do local demand here. Uh, there isn't any here, but it doesn't matter. So, we'll do... Uh, spiniform stalagmite crystals, remote demand. So we get some of these in as well. Uh, but I did say local demand, right? Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. So I'll I'll uh, fix the uh, carbon nanotubes in between episodes. I think uh, so you don't have to sit through that watching me plunk down another 60 uh, chemical plants which I did go back and and automate so we have chemical plants automated we have oil refineries automated uh, and we have oil extractors automated so there's an oil there are the oil refineries uh, didn't I Quest chemical plant somewhere. I did. There they are. So we have it all automated now. Everything we need, I think, is automated, so we don't have to do it ourselves, which is nice. So let's find a spot to make some. some graphene and we want to make it out of this recipe because we have tons of fire ice so we might as well actually go up here and request fire ice and here as well fire ice demand so there two towers requesting fire ice and I only set one up to request the stalagmite things right yes I did so let's do another one requested that as well we're gonna have to go out and find some more of those Okay, so could actually let's have a look here. It takes two seconds to make two graphene. So that's one a second. So we just need 30 machines. Uh, but we do have a bit of resources in the way there, so we're not going to do it there. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it here after the prisms. We have a bit of a mountain here. We do. Oh, I am out of. Um, these guys. Let's just flatten this a bit. I have more than 5 million uh, soil pile now. Can't believe the soil pile was actually a problem once. 
It's not right now. Still a bit to flatten. See? There we go. Alright. So. Transportation. Let's set up. Here, I think. And we want some of these in there, some of these in there. We want to request these. There we go. And we, of course, need to power you. There we go. Okay. So. We need fire ice. Uh, maybe we should tell it that it wants fire ice first. And out comes uh, graphene and hydrogen. Okay. So let's get some fire ice out here. This is nowhere near far enough. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Let's just come out like that for now. And then we can go up here and pluck down a uh, chemical plant. I think I want a little bit more space here. Chemical plant make uh, graphene. And we need to copy that over there. And then we need returns. So, this will be the return graphene. And then we'll have return hydrogen. And for that, I want some fuel storages. So let's quickly grab those. Find them there. Uh, 80 should be fine. Because we're going to need a lot of storage for, uh, for our hydrogen. Can it go up higher? It can. So it'll go into the tower, which annoys me a little bit. Is it going to go into the tower? No. Let's make sure it doesn't do that. So what we can do is maybe come out here. That doesn't hit the tower. That doesn't hit the tower. Good. So we'll bring it out like this. Bring it over. Come on. And bring it out here and come in. All right, so that's a bit of storage. Uh, but do we actually need to move it a bit? I think we do. Dang it. 
because this isn't going to be enough. We're going to need two or three of these. Uh, so let's see. If we take a look at the recipe here. This is two and one. So what we can do is have this be an output as well, but run it up and around. So that's kind of nice. Uh, this needs to come this way. So we'll do that. That do this, and we'll do this. But with this, there still is the problem. So Let's come down here. Come out here, maybe. And then stick down these. Times two. I can live with that. There, and there, you come out and go in there. Okay, so now we need some sorters, and we will have two inputs, and then we'll have. Graphene and output of hydrogen. And an output of graphene and an output of hydrogen. Okay. Uh, let's just get this belt built. Come on, guys, you can do it. I really hope there's enough space for 30 of these here. I'm almost doubting it. Start by copying you. One, two, no, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. So there is definitely not enough space. But, ah, wait a minute. Because we need 30 machines. So this is perfect. This is perfect. So just copy this all the way. Lack of item. Oh, we're out of chemical plants. Let's grab some chemical plants. 100. Here we go. And that means that you and then right there. You and then right there. And then you and come out here and around. Okay. Power poles. Uh, 
actually, I think we can just do this, can we? And then they don't connect, so we'll do this. Not that, that. Got those power poles in there. Everyone gets a power pole. Tesla Tower. There we go. Okay. So we're all set. So all we need to do is a local demand remote storage. Storage. And we can do local and remote supply here. And we have a bunch of drones coming in. I do like this. I do like this a lot. So there we go, we have fire ice, we have graphene coming in, we have hydrogen coming in, unfortunately. And everything is fine and dandy. Fire ice is almost reaching the end now. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay, everyone has fire ice. Nice. It's coming out in a steady stream. We have a fully stocked thing. And we have... How much hydrogen stocked up? Oh, we don't have any in there yet. Uh, we only have like 600 now. 700. Not bad. Not bad. But we're going to need one more of these. We are going to need one more of these. So I think I'll set one, another one of these up in between episodes. We don't have to sit through the same build one more time. And... Then we'll be good with uh, graphene for a while, I think. Cool, cool. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.